Okay. Sorry. Before I begin this video, there's a few things I want to say, more like a disclaimer. If I were making an adaptation of a best-selling fantasy trilogy, I wouldn't do this. However, this is a YouTube video, so I can. I finally ended up going to Dragon Con in Atlanta with my dad, after much debate, and we found it to be not as bad as we expected. I also met a very special guest, who will be following this disclaimer. This was my very first con, and I didn't really know much about how a con works. But I did learn a lot from this first time going, with my dad advising me. Heck, I behaved really well during Dragon Con, and this is the type of event that people like me would have a hard time with thanks to the crowds and the patient waiting and stuff. Here's what I learned from going to my first con featuring celebrities. 1. There are long lines, and getting your badge is like going through security at an airport. 2. No photography is allowed without the permission of the guest celebrity's agent. 3. Don't take too much time with any one guest. 4. Watch out for crowds and passing people, as they always have the right of way like car traffic. 5. Make sure you only speak when necessary. 6. Always read the signs in order to prepare yourself for going into any one event. 7. Have fun. Oh, and another, one more thing. I can't pronounce the letter R. Just watch this. Round the rocks, riveting rock. Rolling rock, rolling rocker. R, r. See? Um, that's to prove that I can pronounce the letter R. That's my disclaimer, and hope you enjoy my 1,000 subscribers video. YouTube, this is Jordan White. I know I'm an expert, but uh, I, I believe I have something that will probably make it up to you. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the real Tara Strong, the Clyde Sparkle herself. How's it going, Twilight? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, how's Spike doing? He's very busy. Uh, <laughs> I can He's see. too busy to come here. He's got to take care of all my stuff. Oh, yeah, well, well I can see that. You know, how about, how about I ask you a few questions? Okay. So, uh, so, uh, how has the Brony phenomenon impacted your career as a voice actress? Well, they're the best fan base I've ever seen in my whole life, and I love them, and they make me laugh, and they've raised over $40,000 for my friend's child with a brain tumor. Oh, thanks. Well, on then now, uh, second question. There are a bunch of female characters are out in Ponyville. Um, uh, how, how, I mean, well, uh, is there a logical reason why there are a bunch of female characters in Ponyville? Because they're awesome. Well, that, well okay. <laughs> well, um, th now, um, uh, I, first off, I, I was kind of a little dis I don't think Princess Celestia is weak just for trying to defend her country from Queen Chrysalis, but, uh, and I don't think she's a goddess either. Nowhere in the show does it say she's a goddess. You're right. Yeah, I don't think she's weak. No. Well, well, that, well you're right on everything. Okay, Jordan. Wait, she's agree with me. Well, and uh, I, I hear that you want you're in, in San, you're moving to. I hear from your Twitter account that you're moving to San Cabo. Oh, I'd like to. <laughs> no, I mean uh, Cabo. Uh, Cabo San Lucas. I'd like to go to Cabo San Lucas. That's I went there on a trip, but it'd be nice to live there. <laughs> well, um. Uh, do you know anything about autism, like Asperger's Syndrome? I'm yes. autistic. Well, well, that's good, uh, because I'm autistic, and this is my father, uh, David White, hi, Dad. And, uh, first off, I have, I have kind of have yeah. the ideas, well... Yeah, that's, one, that's good about it, okay, buddy? Okay. Here, you did great. See if we can give, give our son a picture, okay? Will they sign this for you? Well, of course. Wow, I... It's 25. That's okay, that's fine. Make sure you only speak when necessary. 